Hi, I'm the Micro Hobbyist. Today we'll talk about my third breadboard iteration of the 6502. My first one wasn't a complete disaster, but was too tightly knit. Nonetheless, I wasn't satisfied with the layout and the wiring. So in comes my second iteration. You'll notice the messier wiring, but at least it was easier to debug. As you can see, I now have a functioning Hello World program. Keep in mind that I do this as a hobby, and I'm in no way a professional. Although I did study electronics in college some 30 years ago. Now, on to my third iteration. First things first. Lay out the chips on the breadboard. The ROM will have a dedicated ZIF socket for ease of access. Knowing the design works, there won't be a need to redo all the initial testing as done on the first and second iterations. I built the 6502 computer based on Ben Eater's design. But, naturally, I will make some changes. Notably, restrict the display to 4-bit data to only use port B for the display and its control signals. I have a 40x4 display I'm planning to use instead of a tiny 16x2. Then I'll hook up a 4x4 keypad to port A. Most importantly, I will implement an ACIA to communicate with my computer. I'm not going to bore you with the build. But instead, show you the results within the week maybe. Unless of course, you are interested in seeing assembly builds, in which case, leave me a message in the comments section. Well, that's it for now. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notification bell if you wish to receive updates. This was the Micro Hobbyist. See you next time.